Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube video. Today I'm going to be talking about my empties. So the last empties video that you might have seen was for April. I've got a lot to talk about, so get a cup of tea, sit down and enjoy. These are the empties that I've got from May, June, July and August. So we're talking four months of empties. I will try to get through these as quickly as I can, but I wanted to share whether I would repurchase these or whether I would leave them and not look at them again. So let's go through the empties. The first empty that I have is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. I have just done my top five cleansers and this was in my top five. So as you can probably imagine, I will be repurchasing this again. It is a wonderful product. If you have sensitive skin, if you have skin that is just in need of some love and care, just a general daily cleanser, this is amazing. I use this as my first cleanse and I wash with water in the morning, in the evening. Absolutely love it. And when I'm having problem skin, it is superb. So I would highly, highly recommend the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser and I will be repurchasing it. In fact, I already have a backup. So yeah, amazing. The next product I'm going to speak to you is Votary. This is the Super Seed Cleansing Oil Char and Parsley Seed. This is the cleansing oil that I got as part of a set, I think it was. And I think I may have got this with purchase or something like that, but it is fantastic. It's really good if you've got sort of problematic skin, dry skin, it is amazing. Votary is a fantastic brand and a brand that I highly recommend. So if you ever get a chance to try anything from their range, I'd recommend the cleansing oil. I am going to be repurchasing this. In fact, I'm getting a Caroline Hirons kit and it's on the way, which has the rose and geranium face oil. And that's the one I go to. So I was so pleased that she had it in the kit. So I will be getting another one of these, even in a different format. Highly, highly recommend Votary, amazing. The third, empties that I have is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. You may have heard about it again in my top five, along with the Votary and with the CeraVe that I just did a video on. Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. If you ever try anything from Fresh, try this. Honestly, you will not be disappointed. I love it. It makes my skin feel fresh and it just gives me that lovely feeling, but also really cleans my skin. Sort of starts off like a gel and then it not foams up, but turns into an emulsion and it just is fantastic on my skin. So definitely we'll have a repurchase. I think with these, you generally get a lot of these when you do gift with purchases. So I think I've got a couple waiting for me back up in like smaller sizes, which I will take with me when I travel, but absolutely adore this. So Highly recommend this. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was the Earth Thermal Avene Milk Cleanser. And this was a dupe, I think I might have talked about in a previous video. It is a dupe for the Sicily. Fantastic, absolutely love this. It hydrates and it's good for dry to very dry sensitive skin. I have a couple of backups of this because you can get this from the drugstore like Boots here in the UK and it's just a fantastic product. Does the job, I think it's around about nine pounds or something, but it lasts forever, amazing. And I've already got backup, so I've answered my own question. Definitely will be repurchasing. Oh, I have to talk about this. You probably can recognize it from the, if I just went like that. This is the caffeine eye cream. I actually got this as part of the Caroline Hirons kit. I can't remember which season it was because I've got so many of her kits, but it's gonna be a definite repurchase for me. I love this. This one is also available in drugstores. It's by the Inky List and they have so many other great products. I haven't had a chance to try the others, but I love this caffeine eye cream. It just needs a little bit of a touch. You put it under your eyes and I have been using this religiously. I used it completely. In fact, I should have just cut it open, but I'm trying to recycle a lot of my products. So absolutely would recommend this and would go back and repurchase. It lasted me forever and I thought this wasn't a lot. This is 15 mil and I think it's about under 10 pounds. So it's really reasonable as well. Highly recommend this. My eyes look nice and fresh and just lightens it up and just brightens it and stops it from being so dark because it says help reduce under eye puffiness. So puffiness is associated with darkness and all of that. So it just makes it just feel brighter under my skin. Love it. 
So the next product I want to talk to you about is the Vital Hydro Solution Biome Water Cream, and this is by Dr. Jar. This was when I purchased this from Cult Beauty. I think I purchased a few other Dr. Jar products as well, and I really like this. This is a very water-based gel moisturizer cream. And sometimes during the summer, especially, I don't like heavy creams on my face. So I love the texture of this. I've completely used all of it. Would I repurchase it? I've got a couple of other products that I might use before this because they're water-based as well. But in the future, I wouldn't say no to it if I saw it because I've used it before and I know it was good. So this one comes in a 50 mil. And when I say it lasted me for ages, this lasted me forever and I wasn't sure I was ever going to finish it. So really, really good. The only thing I'd say about this is the packaging is huge. I don't think you need like the excessive packaging around it. And it's kind of like quite tough and hard. And, you know, obviously I will recycle, but I do find with some brands that this sort of... I think they do it because it preserves the moisturizer inside, which I get. It does tend to become quite bulky and it's probably not the best for the environment. I would say this is a great product and it does moisturize if you need that hydration. And if you like that light gel finish, this will be perfect for you. So this is the Vital Hydra Solution. The next product is really interesting. This is the Suku Bounce Barrier Cream. And unfortunately, I purchased this a while back. It is really, really good. And they've stopped making it. <laughs> and I'm really, really gutted. It's been discontinued. The packaging, again, glass jar, not great for the environment. However, the product is so, so good. And it just felt really nice. What I tended to do was to have like a self-care Sunday. And I what I do is I put their mask on and then I do the toning and everything else using their products and then I put this on top and it was just fantastic. I used to feel so great after I did it, but sadly they discontinued it. I think the closest they have is a serum, which I went into store and it's about a hundred pound. I'm going to finish all of my other products first before I do try that. Sadly discontinued, but I really, really love this product. It's really good. It was kind of like a light yellow sort of moisturizer and it was just lovely absolutely lovely just got it it's been discontinued the next thing i'm going to talk to you about is the pixie glow peel pads this is the packaging it came in a sort of like individual pads and this is 20 percent glycolic acid and rose water sadly the only thing about this which i hate is i used it i didn't use it continuously so then it started to dry up and so by the time i wanted to start using it again most of it had dried up because as you see with the opening and closing motion, you're letting air in and then it just starts to dry out. I thought it would have been better if they were like individual sheets, just because you don't want them to dry out, you don't want to lose the product. So I do have a backup of this. I'm just going to have to use them very quickly, I'm afraid. It's just going to have to be a daily use sort of thing. I did like it and I do like the Pixi Glow Tonic. It's stronger, this is 20%, but you don't use this every day. So that's why I think with 60 pads in there, it's just hard to not get the air in. Great product, but just I wish the packaging was better. So I'm not sure if I'll repurchase again. I actually already have like a backup, so I will be going through that, but I don't know whether I would repurchase when past that backup. The next product I want to talk to you about is the Gold Fadden MD Sun Visor. This is the Ultralight Oil Free SPF 30 Mist. Now I had this a while back and the problem I found with this was that the top started to get blocked after a while and it was really hard to get the product out. Luckily, I realized that you could twist the bottle and you could open it and then pour it into a container. So that's what I had to do to get around the fact that I couldn't get to the product as it was finishing. The other thing I would say about this is that it does leave a little bit of a white cast. Sadly, on my skin tone, that's not a good thing. So I'm so glad that I found some new products that have come out that do not leave a white cast. So I don't think I'd be repurchasing this again. It just, just didn't work for me, unfortunately. The next couple of products are just little testers, but I really loved it. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. I think I got this as a sample size. It's actually really good. This one was 15 mil, great sample, great product, and felt really hydrating. I do love their Moisture Surge range at Clinique, so you can't go wrong with this. I also had the Sicilia Day and Night Cream absolutely love this. I have the large tub, but this is really great for traveling with and I finished that. And then I have the Shantakai Rice and Geranium Foaming Cleanser. 
This should have been an honorary mention in my top five cleanser video. Love this so much. I actually have the large size of this. You only need the tiniest bit, but it just feels so lovely on your face. And I can't rave enough about the Shantakai cleansers. This is the rice and geranium foaming cleanser. And I don't normally like foaming cleansers, but this is really, really good. So with all these three, I'll definitely repurchase again. The final couple of products I have is the Aurelia Cell Repair Night Oil with Neroli, Lavender Rose and Mandarin. Cannot rave enough about how I love this. I always get the backups for this because I love it. It smells amazing. So it has a really glorious sort of essential oil kind of smell. You put it on your face and it just feels gorgeous with the Neroli, the lavender. It relaxes me before I go to bed and it makes my skin look really nice. And yeah, just a couple of drops. You can mix this in with a moisturizer as well. Absolutely love it. I finished quite a few bottles of these. We'll definitely repurchase this. The next thing I have is the, the De-Stress Mist and this is by the Psychic Sisters. This is so, so good. I've had this for ages. The Psychic Sisters are only available in Selfridges from what I'm aware. And it's called the De-Stress Mist. And oh my God, it says here, helps to heal anxiety and worries can relax the mind and body, bringing calmness and tranquility into your life, spray twice around your aura and the environment. While saying this affirmation four times, I am relaxed and calm. And you can go to www.psychicsisters.co.uk if you want to find out a little bit more about them. But oh my god, I just spray it. Oh my god, there's a little bit left. <laughs> you just spray it around the room. But it just feels absolutely, oh my god, it's just this calming aura around you. And you know, we all need that at the moment with everything we're going through. So love it. And it's also got like little crystal gemstones in there, essential oils, and it's Reiki energized. So if you're into that, which I am, you will love this. And it's hand blended as well. So when I do pop into Selfridges again, I might pick one of these up again because I really love it, really. And it lasts forever. And then finally, I'm not sure if I've spoken about this product with you before, but it's the Sicily Gentle Facial Buffing Cream. I feel like I have, but I'm going to say it again. Amazing. I'm going to repurchase this. I actually have one that I'm going through right now. It's exfoliating, but it's very light. You do it maybe once or twice a week, and I absolutely love it. Completely finished it. It's not bad for the environment. They changed the formula because they had a formula that wasn't great for the environment but it's so, so good for your skin and really exfoliates your skin. That is all my empties. I really, really hope you enjoyed that. It really brings me joy when I finish these products because I feel like I'm getting through stuff, using things up and trying not to stockpile. Very, very difficult because I am a hoarder and I love new products and obviously I have this channel so I'm going to have lots of products to talk about so I always feel great when I do these videos so please let me know what your favorite is have you tried any of these before I'd love to hear what was your experience with these products are you going to repurchase them again and please leave your comments in the comment section below please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I will see you in my next video thank you